Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new, my name is Liz. Today's video, we have tons of information and we're asking a really exciting question because we're looking into what new things are coming in, what new things to look forward to, uh, what you need to know about it, what you need to know right now about it. Um, and we got tons of info. One of the groups is like 50 minutes long, I think. So ooh, hopefully you don't mind a, a bit of a longer video. We just went very in depth and um, I sort of lost track of time, but I had a lot of fun with this one. I really hope that you enjoy it. And this video is actually extra special because I actually included uh, an unboxing portion of the video. So that will be before um, we start the groups. You can choose to watch that if you like. Um, but we unboxed the September Goddess Provisions box, which was called Cauldron Magic. My very first box, I'm very familiar with Goddess Provisions. I love Goddess Provisions, but they were kind enough to send me the September box. So because this is a timeless reading, you could be watching well after September. Um, so this will be just a nice example of sort of what the monthly subscription boxes are like and how fun they are to open. And of course, all of the information will be linked below as well as my code Charmed Intuition. So if you do use that code, um, you'll receive 10% off of your order and I'll also receive a small commission off of your order as well. So thank you. And advance if you do end up using that link and my code. I do appreciate it. And thank you to Goddess Provisions for sharing this box with me. This was really a treat. I think you'll see if you watch it how exciting it was for me to open. Um, I've always loved the idea of subscription boxes. It just feels like, I don't know, it's something extra fun to look forward to every month. And each month they have a different theme too. So this, this theme was a lot of fun, but I have no doubt that the future boxes are going to be just as amazing. I'm excited to see what the October box is going to be like. So yeah, if you want to uh, check that out, the link will be below. But let me show you what we have here for your choices today. So for group one, I, I chose sort of, we've got like a fall theme going, but I chose all of these little cute uh, characters here. So for group one, we have this little mouse in the acorn. And I used a little charm to hold, hold this little mouse up here. For group two, we have, I think, a chipmunk or a squirrel? I'm not sure. Maybe you could clarify down below in the uh, comments if you know, but cute little chipmunk holding a, I don't know, hazelnut, an acorn, maybe a, a chestnut, not sure. All right, and then finally, group three, we have this little chipmunk sitting on a peanut. So feel free, as always, to choose more than one group. If you're called to more than one, that is perfectly fine. Um, as always with my readings, have fun with it. That's the most important part. If you're watching it and you don't feel like it resonates, then this one might not be for you, but hopefully there is a message for you today. Today, I felt like the cards were really trying to sort of push us forward um, or just remind us of things that there are to look forward to coming in. So I was really happy with what we got today. Um, I know it was helpful for me, the answers that we got, because a lot of times I need to hear these answers as well. Um, so yeah, we did charms, letters, numbers, uh, lots of cards. Again, one of the groups is particularly long, but um, if that's your group, hopefully you can put it on in the background, maybe do some stuff around the house, or maybe just relax and, and make yourself a cup of tea and enjoy. And again, the um, unboxing will be before the group starts. If you'd like to relax with me and watch that, that was a lot of fun to open. So yeah, let's jump into it. Timestamps will be below. Thank you again, as always, for clicking on today's video and spending your time with me. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video and hitting the bell. That all does help my uh, channel a lot. So let's jump into it. Timestamps will be below. We'll start with group number one. So today's video, I've been wanting to do like a hangout with me, kind of cozy video or review of something for a while. Um, it's been a little while since I've done that here on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> and Thankfully, Goddess Provisions actually sent me their September box uh, to review here on the channel. So I'm excited to share this with you, too, with you. I haven't even gotten into it yet. It's completely sealed. I just peeled off the shipping label, so that's why that's all um, like that. But really excited. I have some Goddess Provisions products. I love their uh, self-care oracle. Um, I've got some crystals. Like They have tons on their website. Speaking of, down below, I'll link the uh, website as well as my code. So if you use that, you'll get 10% off. And then I'll also get a little uh, commission off of anything that you purchase. Thank you so much to Goddess Provisions. I'm so excited. This feels like, I've always loved uh, the idea of subscription boxes or monthly um, 
monthly boxes like this because it's it's like giving yourself a gift <laughs> i've always thought this would be a cool gift to give someone as well yeah i'm really excited to jump into this i'm excited to see what this is i haven't peeked i haven't um, like there was a little picture of um, a few of the things that were in there, but I really didn't look very hard because I wanted it to be a surprise. So let's dive in here. I've got a little knife on the gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Let's see. Always brewing magic. So again, this is my first time opening one of these boxes. So I'll just go through it with you. We can look together. So always brewing magic. Ooh, okay, so this tells you what's in there. Oh, and look, there's planners. Okay, if you know me, you know I love planners. I'm obsessed with like making lists, uh, like for the day to do list, things like that. But these look beautiful. I'll have to go on their website and look at those. The 2024 Moon Planner. Now would be the time to pick up a planner too. Okay, very cool. Okay, and then there's some information about Goddess Provisions. There's a Moon Wisdom Club. Ooh, there's a feedback survey. You can win a free box. <clears throat> Every box sold, they make a donation to trees.org. Little information on their recycling, a monthly giveaway. That's really cool. Refer a goddess program. So there's a referral program. Information on how to contact them and information. Oh, they have information on the artist too. So the cover art was created by artist Cameron Lee Hunter. And then information on how to find Cam on Instagram and the website. So very interesting. Okay, so I don't want to look um, at this because I sort of want to see the the items and then we can look a little deeper into this. But yeah, okay, so what do we have here? Sacred Spirits Ritual Kit. Ooh. So what's in here, you've got the uh, ingredients that they put in for you and then different ways that you can use it. So that's really cool. So you could do uh, some candle magic. You could dress a candle and set an intention. Herbal essence water. Moon or sun charged water. I actually just made moon water actually with the uh, <clears throat> blue moon that we recently had. Um, yeah, very cool. And then grounding support um, to make like a little charm bag. So there's sacred holy basil, frankincense resin, rosemary, and there is a peaceful protection essential oil blend. So let's open this up. I love the illustrations and the design of this box too. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it smells so nice. I don't know which one that... Oh my gosh. I think it's the oil. Oh my. That smells amazing. Okay. Let's look at these here. So yeah, you've got your little packet of rosemary. Oh, and there's information. So this herb invites love and security. Dew of the sea. Rosemary has been traditionally used to protect and purify sacred spaces. Beautiful. Then you've got your sacred holy basil. So this herb invites luck and enlightenment. Okay. The incomparable one. For thousands of years, Tulsi has been used to align the mind, body, and spirit and create divine connections. Very cool. And then we've got some resin here, frankincense resin. This resin calls forth your higher awareness. I don't have any of this, so this is actually really cool. The noble incense. Uh, since ancient times, this resin has been used to promote peace and grounding during spiritual practices. And then in this little bubble wrap, we have this peaceful protection oil, a blend of jojoba and rosehip oils with frankincense, lemon, liang, liang. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I've always been pronouncing it wrong. And geranium, uh, rose essential oils. So that's a nice amount too. Like you could definitely like have enough to do all of these things here with the inspiration ideas here. Very cool. So that is really, really nice. I can't wait to add this to my little shelf. Very, very nice. Of course, just as I'm unboxing this, the light is shining in right in my eyeball. Okay, so let's see what else there is. This is so exciting. I can really see how you'd look forward to this every single month. Like it's just, it feels so special. So moon phase, unscented soy and coconut wax tea light candles, beautiful. These are some nice sized tea lights too. Four hour burn time. Got your goddess provisions info there. Very beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, then we have a piece of smoky quartz here. This is a, ooh, this is a nice piece. Ooh, 
Look at that. I love smoky quartz. I actually have a piece of it um, close by me. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Very, very nice. And what is this? And this looks beautiful. So this is by Simmer and Company. Natural Aromas. Be Divine Simmer Potion. Ooh, so this is for a simmer pot. Very nice. Soothing, cleansing, refreshing. Simmer Potion. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so funny. I was just thinking about um, doing a simmer pot this week. Look at that. So fill a pot with three to four cups of water. Add the simmer mix. Bring to a boil. Then reduce to a simmer. Enjoy as the natural aroma fills your home. Ooh, I should open this and smell it. Okay, let's smell this together. I know you can't smell it, but I'll try to describe to you how it makes me feel or what I think of. Okay, so I've been sniffing it for like a minute here. This is what I imagine when I smell it. The lavender, I'll tell you what's in it, but the lavender comes through really softly. I can really smell the cedar what I'm imagining and the sun sort of coming through and hitting me right in the face, but it feels, um, I feel like I'm at like a cabin in the fall, like at a spa, some sort of spa cabin or something like that, like on the water. Yeah, the lavender really comes through softly. So what's in here? There's the rosemary, marjoram, cloves, lavender, and cedar. Yeah, you definitely get the rosemary. But what's really like, the lavender of course is calming, but the cedar, is, I, it, it reminds me of like, I don't even know where I'm imagining, but like I'm really getting that um, autumn of like a fall cabin or something. And you're sipping tea and you're on the water, it's really relaxing. And just with the sun shining in, like it just feels calming. I can't wait to try this. I'm, try I'm trying to sort of paint the picture that I have in my mind. But just like a fall cabin, crisp air, you've got like a coffee or a tea, you've got a sweater on. Um, it's like early autumn, crisp, like cool weather. The trees, the lavender is calming. Uh, the cedar is what makes me think of a cabin. Like there's like a woodsiness to it. It is refreshing and it is soothing. <laughs> That's the perfect way to describe it. <laughs> This is really cool. And then this, I know what this is because I did happen to, um, when I was looking at the picture, this is the first thing that I noticed. Uh, and I love my cauldrons. I have quite a few, so I'm excited to see this. It looks like it's going to be a, an interesting shape. So, um, creative cauldron uses. So I love, I'm loving this. I'm loving how it has um, the instructions of what you can do with each of these items in the box, right? Because then you could sort of plan even an afternoon around your box. You could make some tea, you could um, use your resin and your, your herbs, you could dress a candle, you could put your, you know, your simmer pot on, you could work with your cauldron. Like, what I think I'm going to do is, I had company over last night, I think I'm going to clean. I want to just open the windows. I'm going to put uh, the simmer pot on and just sort of let the fresh air in and let this smell sort of just you know, go throughout the house. Like I think unboxing this and sort of having a self-care afternoon um, would be like really, really special. So let's look at this again. Okay, so yeah, so it's got all of the instructions. So cleanse your sacred space, burn charcoal, herbs, or loose incense. Perfect. Uh, practice a cleansing ritual. Write down what no longer serves you. Allow it to burn completely. So foretell the future. Add water and use as a tool for scrying. So that's something I really don't do with my cauldron. So I think that would be um, interesting to try. Create moon water, fill the cauldron and place it under the new or full moon. Beautiful. So really nice box. Again, just beautiful, beautiful packaging. And like the uh, little info sheet said here, it's all recycled packaging. Okay, so, oh, wow. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, I know it's sort of hard to tell the size of things on um, camera, but this, this would be a beautiful travel cauldron. If you had like a little travel altar or a travel um, kit um, that you like to go or take places, like you could, oh my gosh, this is just adorable. I really wish I could show you. This is adorable. Look at the design here, the moon phases. Okay, and then the little lid. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look. This is adorable. And you've got your Goddess Provisions logo on the bottom. Oh my goodness. It's so, okay. Oh my gosh. 
reviews. I feel like I'm not good at reviews because a lot of my reviews are always, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm really happy with this box. I'm really happy with this. Like I said, I feel like this is going to be what I do this afternoon. I really needed this too today. I need I needed something to sort of just bring in a fresh energy into the house. So I think this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the windows. I'll put this on um, and maybe do some things with uh, all of the things that were included in this box. This is really, really nice. I love the little lid. It's the perfect size for, again, if you are traveling. Oh, look at this. I, don't, I didn't even look at the side. Look at how pretty. Beautiful. I love this little lid. It's just such an adorable size, yet there's still, I mean, tons of, um, of course, space to do whatever you're doing in there. So I am very happy with this. Um, my first box, I, I think this is just such a treat. Um, so again, link below. Um, thank you to Goddess Provisions for sharing this with me to unbox and share with everyone. I think this is so much fun. I was really excited to get this. Oh my gosh, lovely. So let's just quickly look at this again because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Um, I think like, to me, this is what I would open at the very end because I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to know everything that's in there, but I tried not to look here. So you've got your uh, information about each of the um, items that are in the box and then the value of that items. So you're really seeing like for what you're paying, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Um, so the mystic cauldron. So enchant your rituals with this mystical cauldron adorned with moon phases and the all-seeing eye. Perfectly sized for storing crystals and small items to cast powerful spells on your altar. It says never touch your cauldron or leave it unattended. Will burn anything inside. Always keep an extinguisher nearby. Love that. Uh, your sacred spirits ritual kit. So that was the kit with all of the herbs and the resin. Uh, and then you got your Simmer & Co. Be Divine Simmer Potion. This might be the thing I'm, I'm like, this in the cauldron, I think I'm especially excited about because this smell, honestly, I can't describe it other than crisp, fresh fall air in a cabin. I was sniffing this for like a good minute. I'm going to edit it down, but I was really quite, quite, uh, my nose was really in there. Okay. <laughs> so Smoky Quartz here, it says embodying courage, grounding and balance. This crystal clears negative energy and fosters self-awareness revealing inner strengths and weaknesses. So I love this. There's just so much information on each item in the box that you can really kind of dive into. Um, I love how there's instructions on each of the items for you to, like if this was your first time working with a simmer pot or working with a cauldron, like you've got some good information here. Um, and their website too, like it, just the resources that they give, like I'm really happy with this. This felt like a treat. Honestly, like this really felt like a treat to open. It came sort of like right when I needed a little bit of a pick me up. So um, thank you again to Goddess Provisions. Again, that link will be below. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. If you like me to do stuff like this or more reviews, um, definitely let me know. I mean, I do have my Patreon where I do some unboxings and things there, but, but if you like this kind of thing, definitely let me know. Um, I know I like to just watch this kind of video you know, make a cup of tea. I find it really relaxing. So I hope that this was informative for you. I hope that you enjoyed the unboxing. Let me know what your favorite thing in the box was today. I'd love to know. And yeah, we will jump to the reading. chose the little mouse in the acorn then this is your messages about what new things are coming into your life i'm really excited to see uh, what is going on with you this could be lots of little things this could be one big thing so we'll have to see what comes up but i'm already seeing here that someone is thinking very highly of you okay so that could have to do with what's going on let's see so what new things are coming in for group one what new things are coming in for group one something you're not seeing quite yet because you're already upset about something i'm seeing what new things are coming in for group one yeah you're not seeing this yet you're frustrated okay group one one One, ooh, okay, it's a little bit too many. I'll try again, group one. What new things are happening to group one? What can group one expect? Lemongrass, growth, psychic ability, expanding horizons. Okay, I'm really getting the feeling you're not seeing it right now or you're quite frustrated about, about something. Sorry, I've got Moonology. I've got one other deck here. I'm just going to get organized here. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, as I'm getting organized here, I'm seeing the resent resentment card. This feels important. Expanding horizons, and then you've got the hot air balloons. You've got a lot of balloons here, too. One, new things. Okay. That's a few. We'll take those. Success and rainbow. Interesting. I like that these two came out together. It's interesting. It almost looks like there's like a bubble of water there something going on here. Okay, I'm really excited to dive in. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, chronology. Okay, group. One. What new things are coming in for group one? What new things are happening for group one? Prosperity lies ahead. All right. Very cool, group one. Let me just adjust this so you can see what we're looking at here. Okay. And I've got a deck here in case we want to clar clarify anything. So do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Successful outcome to your problems. Okay, so the key card to me is acknowledging what I'm feeling. I feel like I feel like what's coming in is something you definitely don't see and you're quite you're actually quite resentful about it. This card, um, we didn't shuffle it out, but I was it when I was getting the cards ready to shuffle, I noticed this one and it felt really important. So I feel like this is sort of how you're feeling right now. It almost kind of feels like you, that feeling of like time out. It, it was a scene of a time out scene, right? So it's almost like you had to take a time out. Um, and you're feeling frustrated because this is something that you wanted when you wanted it. And I feel like you're so, because I even, I don't know if it's still there, it's, I already shuffled them, but when I was looking at this card, I noticed the magnifier card. So I'm, I'm seeing that here. I'm seeing like you're very focused on something right now, um, that it's, it's kind of getting clouding uh, your view of what could be, but I feel like that's going to change, okay? Because we have the balloon here. This is making me think of perspective. The fact that there's multiple balloons too is making me think of like multiple different ways that this can go, multiple different views that maybe you had considered because this person's seeing the mountain very differently than this person and this person, right? They're all seeing it from different angles. So I feel like similar to these cards, right? It's like, what is this person focused on? This person's focused on these three cups that they're dissatisfied with. This person's focused on these three cups that have fallen over, but they're not seeing something yet. This person's not seeing this cup in the doorway being offered the open door, the keys right there. Uh, and this person is not like, they're upset about these wine glasses, which valid. Okay. That's, that's not fun, but there's an entire like banquet behind them. There's a full wine bottle, wine glasses, there's lobster, there's balloons, there's uh, an entire picnic basket that they're, that they're not seeing yet. And I love this actually compared to like the um, original five of cups, because in the background of that card, you see like a you see a bridge, okay? So that interesting because that can talk about overcoming problems. And, uh, you know, you see an entire new city. So I love that with like this feeling of, of expanding horizons with your lemongrass card because I feel like what's new that's coming in is partially your view of what's available or your view of what else is out there. Um, I feel like something, I feel like this hasn't happened yet. I feel like something's coming along that's saying, hey, look, look what's there. And you're like, okay. It doesn't make what happened or what's going on any less disappointing or frustrating. In fact, I felt like something, you feel like something was kept from you. Um, or for some reason, timing is coming up with this. It's like, this it, This just didn't feel fair. The timing of something or the fact that you couldn't have this particular thing when you wanted it. Um, you had to sort of take a step back. This. This isn't like, I'm not getting like you've done, you've done nothing wrong, but there is a feeling of like, okay, why, 
why was this kept from me? The sun, the sun just came in my tarot room. It's like in my eye. I've got a window right there and a window over there. So the sun just came out, which I find pretty important for your reading. It's, it's definitely right in my eyes, but, but that's okay because I think it's making a point. Um, or in my mind, the connection is making a point because it feels warm. You know, there's just the feeling of like something expanding from something that was quite disappointing and frustrating. Um, I want to say something else too, because, you know, you've got the bull card. It's telling you to persist with something, not give up on something. Cause this could, this card can pop up when we're like, okay, well, I guess, I guess this is what I'm stuck with, or I'm not happy with this particular situation. And the card, there's always a cup that the person can't see or, or something they haven't considered or something they just haven't noticed yet. Um, again, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It's just something else I guess it's saying don't be closed off to what else is there. And with this, it's saying do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So the cards are really wanting for you to push through this. Uh, and what I was going to say is, so um, yesterday I was trying to uh, get some stuff done. And I just I just felt like everything I was going to do, I was, I was having issues with. Like I felt super unproductive. I felt like frustrated and really discouraged because I was trying to be productive, but I felt like I couldn't, I didn't have the energy. Um, I tried to record a reading and I just couldn't get started. My intuition felt really foggy. I felt frustrated. And so I did, I did essentially have to take a time out. I decided to focus on something else. I went out, um, did a few other things. And today the energy has completely shifted. And I, I noticed like when I'm frustrated about things, I forget it every single time, but there's that feeling of like, okay, just give it some time, right? Give something some time. So I'm getting that message for you. Give something some time um, because your perspective could shift, okay? Your view of this, there's a lot about your view right now or what you can't see or what's not not obvious to you right now, um, especially with the balloons. And then just these two cards coming out, I think are really important because both people aren't seeing something that's available yet. They're not seeing it yet. They haven't done anything wrong. You know, they might feel that way with this with this timeout card. It's like, well, what did I do wrong? Uh, and I think that is an issue right now in your mind because you are highly thought of. It's almost like, well, what did I, what's wrong with me? You know, why didn't I get that job? Or why didn't I get that promotion? Why isn't my business taking off right now? Why is, like, why aren't I... Oh, this could be applied to so many things. Why aren't I getting views? Why um, did this person decide to date this other person? Like there's a feeling of like, okay, well, what's wrong with me? But it's, it's, it's making you discouraged where you don't need to be, okay? Is it upsetting and disappointing? Absolutely, but it has not, it's not a reflection on you, okay? You've got your highly thought of. Again, this person's looking away. There's a lot about like not, you haven't seen something yet. This, we're looking at this image, like the viewer is looking at the image that the person isn't facing us. So there's, there's something you haven't seen yet or, or the cards are just saying like, you're not seeing it from every perspective, which of course, how can you, right? We can't see it from every perspective, but there's different, I guess there's different, there's different things you haven't considered. Um, if you're taking this as like personal, it's hard to not take things personally. So I don't want to say don't take it personally, but there's more, okay? There's more opportunities. There's more, you know, like they say, more fish in the sea. Is it upsetting? Like, I'm not trying to say that this isn't upsetting. Like, your feelings of disappointment with this are completely valid, whatever's going on with you. But just don't be closed off to what could be, okay? You've also got a stork, and storks represent something new coming in. Um, they can represent new business opportunities. They can represent um, just newness, right? If you think of the story of the stork, it just represents something new coming. Um, and then this is associated with the Queen of Cups. So that's really interesting too, because I feel like you're maybe more receptive to it or you're, or part of what what's new that's coming into your life is a period of openness because the Queen of Cups is open, um, grounded, welcoming. Like there's a feeling of being open to what could be. And I, I really think that's what to sort of take away from this is being open to what could be. You've got growth here, psychic ability, expanding horizons. Another thing that could be happening for you is uh, just more, you could be more in tune with your intuition as well. Queen of Cups, like you could be feeling more intuitive, uh, more in tune with that side of yourself. You could be feeling more like in tune with your psychic abilities. You could be feeling that starting to expand and then 
that is helping you as well. Expanding horizons, I love that with the bloom card. And then growth too, because I feel like this was, I mean, just look at this image, right? Um, we've, growing up, you know, this is sort of like, I feel like, again, this isn't like you, again, I don't think you did anything wrong, but it's almost like you had to learn a lesson. Like there was a lesson in this, okay? With growth, it's like there was a lesson in, in this experience, um, which are, you know, not usually fun. Um, then you've got successful outcome to your problems. You've got the key. So a key in any reading, especially when you're doing a reading about something new is fantastic because keys represent a way forward. They represent a solution. They represent a yes. They represent an option through some sort of obstacle. Um, you know, there's so many different messages you can get from a key. So successful outcome to your problems. So very, very cool. But I think there's a strong message of like being open to it. Um, some of you are holding on to something you really, really wanted with resentment, right? And it's like, I wanted that now. Like, and it was, it felt like it was kept from you or it felt like you couldn't have it. And it's, there's sort of like a feeling with the magnifier that I noticed earlier of like, well, why didn't this happen? Well, there's something, there could be something better here being offered or coming in. You've got the rainbow. Rainbows, I love um, even as a symbol of like improvements. And I love the reflection here. It's almost like time to reflect possibly. Even the item you chose makes me think of like the hermit. It's almost like you took, cause it looks like the mouse was hiding and it's sort of ready to, to emerge here. So there was almost like a period of reflection. Clouds can represent temporary problems. I keep noticing that it almost looks like a bubble, doesn't it? Like it looks like a water bubble or something. We have the reflection. Very interesting. Just noticing the birds. And then you've got success. Now these two came out together. Um, unicorns. So unicorns can represent like unique. Uh, well, I think of uniqueness. I think of um, rare opportunities. I think of celebrating. I'm really getting like celebrating your uniqueness. And your uniqueness is the key to your success. Okay. So you what you like. And I feel like you're almost viewing what makes you unique or your style or something different about you is like as as a bad thing when in fact it's actually something that really sets you apart and really makes you stand out in a really cool way um i feel like you're a very creative person group one i feel like if you chose this group there's something about you that's quite creative um i'm getting that you're nostalgic i don't know if that's coming through um, but you're quite nostalgic even the unicorn maybe that's why it's coming through because we do have um, an image of a child here and we've got the unicorn so there's a feeling of like nostalgic creativity you're imaginative um, very connected to like things that inspired you as a child um, could be inspiring you right now and then you've got prosperity lies ahead so before we jump to charms let's just read this just for fun if I remembered where I put my book um, I don't know I was just looking at it the other day where did I hear my knees cracking? Okay, there it is. Oh. oh my gosh, I just opened to it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this card is often, this card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. Oh my gosh. This card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This card comes down to laws of attraction. Value, value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy. Very nice. <laughs> so now is a good time to make a 12 month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. Interesting. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon is sturdy the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just, just yet. Okay. That is really cool because this resentment card is kind of like, it's almost like you're like, okay, well, I guess even the four of cups, it's like, well, I guess this isn't going to happen for me then. I guess it's not happening, but it's just, it's it, again, time out. I'm really thinking of like, it wasn't the right time. Um, you will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Interesting. Getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time. <gasps> okay. This is, these, see, <laughs> I get these moments where I just get chills. I, I hope you feel it too when these kind of things happen. This is my favorite part of reading cards. This is my favorite part, what we're about to read here. Take some time out. 
like just the word time out with what I was saying with time out. Like, so take some out time out to pamper yourself. So it's almost like you did like, okay, something's coming through with you're highly thought of. I think you're putting a lot of uh, importance on other people's view of your success. So it's like, did, or, or like what people are noticing, what people aren't noticing. But I think like that needs to, and I know it sounds like cliche, but really that needs to sort of come with from within first. Like, because not everyone is going to appreciate the same things, right? We'll go back to this balloon card, perspectives. You know what I thought of recently, actually? To prove this point, think of your favorite movie or a movie that you just know in your heart is an amazing movie. You know, you just love this movie. It's the best movie you've ever seen. Per perfection. Now go to online reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and read the reviews of it. You're going to see like there's some reviews, raving reviews, just, oh my gosh, this movie's phenomenal. And then you're going to see reviews being like, what? This is horrible. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? So it's really important to not put too much weight on what other people think of what we're doing or our uniqueness or our qualities, or our talents, because it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And everyone's kind of feeling that way. I feel that way sometimes. And I'm like, well, I'm me. Like, you know what I mean? Um, everyone is going to see something from a different perspective or a different angle. And I feel like maybe if someone didn't see something you had to offer, you've got this resentment, right? You've got this frustration. Well, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? You know, what, like, should I even try this again? Yeah, of course, of course, 100%, get back in there, 100%. So start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Okay, so it's suggesting that you start saving a little bit too. Could be a reason for that, it could lead to something later, um, but it could even be little amounts, right? Just little bits here and there, little things like that can really, really add up over time. So it's suggesting that as well. But let's jump to charms. I really love everything that you got. Group one, I feel like that's why you clicked this reading is because uh, to let you know that this new thing that's coming in is something you're not seeing yet. It's something you're currently possibly resentful about or frustrated about. Um, it's letting you know that you are highly thought of, but it doesn't, it does <laughs> that's not really what's important anyways, right? Um, your uniqueness is the key to your success. Something unique about you, something different, something rare, something special. You know, it's almost like this, this unicorns, you know, in this field and it came upon a bunch of horses and thought, well, you know, what's wrong? I've got this, this horn here and I've got, you know what I mean? It's like, well, we're, no, that's what sets you apart. Is there something different? Rainbow improvements. There's a lot about reflection here. Um, this bubble, I can't quite figure out what that might mean. Feel free to comment below what you're getting from that. I always like that. Resentment, this is like, okay, why couldn't I have that? This is when I wanted it. I'm upset. Um, I feel like I've been put in time out, you know, um, the dog too. Dogs make me think of loyalty. Balloons, I'm really getting just the multiple balloons, the different perspectives, different options, and then how it connected to expanding horizons. And I think too, balloons make me think of a different viewpoint. Stork, so something new is coming in, um, business opportunity or just something arriving. Again, you might not see it yet though, right? Because you're still upset about something perfectly you know, it's perfectly fine to be upset. And then you've got the Queen of Cups here. So I'm getting to be receptive, be open. Don't back down from what it is that you want. Um, also, another thing I'm getting is, is don't let, because um, I feel like someone must have said something or something happened that like made you feel like your uniqueness or something different about you was, was not, it could have been said out of jealousy. It could have been just because some people just enjoy making people upset. It's like, you know, like, just be happy you're not in that energy. <laughs> Just be happy that's not what you thrive off of. And keep going. Like, don't back down here. Um, and I think with Queen of Cups, as a sensitive person, it could be easy to do that, right? Um, you're highly thought of, and this person's not looking at us, right? So they're, they're looking away. A successful outcome to your problems. So, yeah, I love all of these. So I just wanted to do a quick little recap here. And then let's look at your charms. Let's use this moon today. Let's use the moon. We'll just get a couple charms. We'll get some letters and numbers, and then we will be good for today. Okay, 
this brings up what I was noticing about the timeout card or the resentment card because the um the dog okay so I'm getting like friendship or support from friends right now is important um or or I guess surrounding yourself with people that are supportive of, of these qualities in you like these unique things or supportive of your dreams supportive of your goals people that are loyal people that you can trust people that you have a good time with I think is really important for you Okay, we'll do letters and numbers at the end. Let's just see what we have. Oh, it's so funny. I brought up the hermit. And look, you've got the hermit. Because it looks like this little mouse was hiding in the acorn. And I feel like you did sort of take a time out. It could have been um, to develop some sort of new strategy, to rethink something, to reapproach something um, from a different angle. Maybe you haven't come to that conclusion yet. With all of the cards I saw, I'm still sort of seeing you as like um, focused on what hasn't worked. Um, the boots can represent hard work, and they also represent protection. Um, so that's really interesting, too. Element of, like, protecting... Protecting yourself. Interesting, yeah. Strategy. You've got elements of travel here. You've got go for a walk. That's interesting. It's To me, that's sort of like getting out of... Because, um, like I said yesterday, I was I kept trying to, like get things done that I had to do and I just I literally just could not do it I felt tired I felt discouraged I felt my intuition was off I felt um just frustrated everything was happening and like annoying things were happening um but I did I I you know I went out we actually went to the flea market I went to go get groceries um I ended up going to a friend's we had dinner and you know it it and then I woke up today feeling different. So it's just sort of that kind of energy. You've got travel. Um, so something new coming in. This could just be a hint that travels on its way. You've got the lucky charm here. I love that charm because it literally is just a lucky charm. For sale, sold. Some of you could be uh, selling your home. This could sort of be what's been frustrating for a few of you watching. Uh, but this could also just represent... Um, actually, it's making me think of like feeling like... You know when people sell their house and it takes a long time to find that right buyer and there's, you know, people coming in and viewing their home, walking around and no offers, no offers, weeks go by. It's like, well, what's wrong with my house? Like, what's going on? Like, you know, uh, you know you're starting to, do, do they not like the paint color? Do they not like the layout? Do they not like, you know, what, 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 what's wrong with my house? It just wasn't the right buyer yet, right? And then someone comes along, it's like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. As an analogy, right? <laughs> I like to play with um, metaphors and analogies. You've got the little car here. That is to me the chariot. It can represent like uh, determination. I think with the bull car talking about fortitude and, and, and you know, kind of sticking with the direction that you want to go, I think is important. Um, the cars also make me think about being in control, being behind the wheel. You've got another charm here about perspective, the Ferris wheel, because I like that with your hot air balloon. You've got forget me not. So something... Something is like, I don't know if this is a person though. Typically it comes in as a person, um, but I'm actually getting it as like something you're not letting go of because you had a lot about nostalgia too. Remember I mentioned nostalgia. You've got the little bird cage, which can represent freedom. It makes me think of the eight of swords. The door is open. Okay. So it can make me think of like getting unstuck because the cage is open. There's no bird in it. It's free. Um, you've got the little alien from the Simpsons. Uh, this makes me think of like, uh, exploration, new places, new worlds, uh, things we don't really understand yet. Um, love that. And then you've got the little little crystal ball here with the fortune teller. It makes me think of uh, intuition. I was getting that about you. I think I even mentioned it, that you're intuitive. You also had a card talking about psychic abilities too. So I feel like your psychic abilities are expanding right now. Um, and I feel like maybe what's happening is maybe has you doubting that. Because I feel like you are intuitive in general, but it's expanding more and more. Um, a lot of what could have happened too is for a few of you, you could have actually changed your mind about something too um, or followed your intuition in regards to something. And now you're you're kind of doubting that. Trust your intuition. Trust it. Trust, trust. This always makes me think of trusting your own wings. Um, yeah, very interesting charms today. Okay, you've got butt, took, which 
flip these over. Take your time um, with the letters. You can pause the video if you need to. Feel free to look below in the comments. There's always word suggestions, which I appreciate because I don't always, I don't always come out with the best <laughs> words. It always takes me a long time. Okay, I'm seeing learn. And I was saying earlier, learning, like you've learned a lesson. Again, not as like punishment because the resentment card, you've got that time out scene. It's sort of like, well, what did I do wrong? It just, there's something about like, it wasn't the timing. You've got laugh. Where did I lean? There we go. Learn. Laugh. Laugh at your mistakes. You know, laugh. Laugh. And do we have a D? Laugh and learn. You know? Uh, I think sometimes like we just like fixate on things that we didn't do right or like that didn't work out or we think is embarrassing. Okay, laugh and learn. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me know what you see. I'll, I'll cut it off there. If you need more time, just pause the video. Oh, we gotta get you letters actually, or numbers, sorry. Get you some numbers. And then that'll be good for today. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope that it uh, gave you the motivation to keep going with this and um, with this thing that you want and let you know that something else, like your answer to the question, what's new, we've got 11, 11 here, is something you might not see yet, right? Um, so don't keep keep going with this. Um, a lot, got a lot about like your unique qualities, your individuality being a strength, um, really important. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you Next in a little time. group two if you chose this cute little <laughs> chipmunk or squirrel. Uh, with a little nut, then this is your message for what new things or what new thing is on its way in for you. We will get as much information as possible. Um, you know, this could be lots of little things. This could be one big thing. We'll see what the cards want to bring up, but I'm excited to see what's happening. I've actually already given all of the cards a very good shuffle, but we'll just shuffle out all of your cards uh, now first. This will just take me about a minute or so do this together and then we will dive in. I'm excited to see what's going on here. Okay, that one. King of Swords. What new thing is coming in here? What new thing is coming in? Or what new things are coming in for group? Okay, I was just, I should have said it. This is why I wish I would just say everything that pops into my mind. Um, this was coming in for me as advice or assistance from somebody. Um, I could have some some advice or some, a point of view um, or help you with something. Um, and you've got Six of Pentacles here too. So I'm, I'm reading this or I'm feeling this as some sort of assistance. I'm noticing the little item you chose. They're carrying um, the nuts. So there's something I, I was imagining like 10 of... Ten of Wands almost. Okay, let's see what else we have. Group two. What new thing is coming in for group two? What new thing is coming in for group two? This one wants to come out. Page of Pentacles. What new things are coming in? Okay, yeah. I'm, um... What I'm seeing is, and we'll get more messages, but one thing I'm seeing is there's there's a solution or there's like, I'm getting it as like a simple solution or a simple, um, it's something, oh, this is funny. I just flipped this over, position of authority. Yeah, I feel like who's ever giving this advice or whatever's coming in here is somebody that has like a particular piece of knowledge or information or just something that can kind of help you, you know, with a situation. They can offer some sort of assistance or a point of view or something that can just fall out. Um, but we'll get, we'll get more, because I'm seeing you feeling kind of stuck. Oh, we've got the golden egg. <clears throat> okay, that's good there. <laughs> we've still got lots more cards to get, so I don't want to... Okay. All right. So, new things coming in this... Oh my goodness. Winds of change, for sure. Um, so the Six of Pentacles is the energy of like giving and receiving. It's uh, so I feel like something new coming in is you're receiving something. Uh, 
opportunity possibly. You've got the force card there and just blew out. many this deck is is i love this deck it's so many cards and it, because of that it's a little difficult to shuffle but in the in a good way because i like when cards pop out of decks like that so. okay so maybe uh i think that's good okay that's a lot of cards we'll start with what we have we can always go back for more i do have actually i've got to get two of these tea cards What is coming in? What new things are about to happen for group two? What should group two be aware of? New things. Oh my goodness. Are you having trouble doing something you ordinarily do? Um, this could have to do with a new approach, like because I'm, I'm having trouble shuffling today. Um, cards are falling out. You know, I'm having a hard time, but I shuffle every day of my life. So, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm never really the smoothest shuffler, but it's just interesting. So I'm wondering if you're having trouble doing something. This could be like a new approach to something because it seems like you're sort of stuck. Um, this is making me think of actually like a pattern for some reason today. There's like a feeling of feeling stuck. It's like, I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on this target, a goal oriented person. <laughs> cup you should accept valid criticism oh yes so, okay unsuccessful plans oh my gosh okay success assured with good plans and hard work okay this is really interesting i'm excited to see what else we we have here so blessings new beginnings clarity is really important here especially with the feeling i was getting i was really feeling this king of swords is a helpful person uh it doesn't have to be an air sign although we did see that air sign or that air card pop out earlier when i said winds of change but um but it doesn't have to be an air sign. This would be just somebody who's like, this person's very structured, this person um, with valid criticism. I feel like they might come off uh, quite direct in their delivery and how they explain something. It's like that teacher you had that was very like sharp and to the, to the point with, where they, with the way they explained things. Um, they, they might not... Um, they might not come off as like the most um, soft or sensitive to talk to, but they're honest, they're to the point, they're quite direct, very intelligent. Uh, this person seems to be trying to make a point. I'm really noticing the sword here. It's like they're trying to make a particular point. Um, so my feeling was with this, which is confirmed here, you should accept valid criticism. So something new is coming in. This feels like a piece of advice. This doesn't feel um, like it's going to be if anything, I feel like you're actually relieved. To, to, it's like somebody sort of giving you a different point of view or helping you with something um, to, to sort of help you approach something in a new way um, and, and sort of get you unstuck. The other thing here, you've got unsuccessful plans. So something you did just didn't work. And it's sort of like, okay, well, what do I do now? This is the only way I know how to go about this. Or So success assured with good plans and hard work. So this could also be a new plan coming in, okay? A new approach to something. Um, so the answer to the question of the reading, what new things are coming in, some clarity in regards to how do we approach something or how to uh, make something work the second time, you know, how to make this work, um, some sort of assistance coming in, some sort of like offer or something like that, somebody that's that's creating clarity or, or um, making some sort of point or giving you some sort of advice or, or constructive criticism and it says you should accept it. So this person seems to be, like they understand your goal, they understand where you're trying to get. This card is really cool because this, uh, they don't necessarily have to be in a position of authority, but this person is, like they, they have a lot of knowledge or experience in this thing. So whatever advice, even if it comes off as maybe a little bit sharp, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some of you as a beginner in something. And then I'm seeing this person who's like got years of experience or just a lot of, you know, a lot of history with this coming in and saying, look, I can help you with this. Okay. So I think to answer your question, the question of this reading, 
one of the new things that's coming in for you is a new approach to something, you making some new plans. You might not know this person personally. This could be like a teacher of some kind. This could be like a professor. This could be somebody running a course, um, you know, that you're taking or something like that. This could be um, even something like um, somebody, like a book you're reading possibly, right? It could be a book or somebody who's written something, has a lot of you know, something like that. This person's providing some clarity or helping answer a question. This could also be encouragement for you to research something a little bit more in depth um, because there could be a new way to approach it. So I think so far we have one of the new things that is coming in for you is a fresh approach, a fresh approach to something, new idea, new potential, new opportunities, new beginnings, um, the chance to learn, the chance to sort of soak up information. Um, Okay, so that's one of the things that I'm getting. Before I look at these, I just want to see what else I'm getting. Um, some of you are choosing to um, possibly, like for some of you, this could be in regards to uh, some sort of financial goal that you have. So you could also be looking for advice in regards to that. This could be like an official person um, at like a bank. You're making an appointment. You're getting some advice in regards to something to do with savings or um, some of you might even be like have a goal of like buying a house. So you know, this could be somebody helping you get to that goal, like somebody helping you with that, okay? So lots of different options here. I'm just sort of trying to look at everything um, that we have here. I love the, the tea card you have. New beginnings, clarity is, I think, really important because here I'm seeing like, like they can't see something. This card to me is like, it can have to do with illusions. It can also have to do with like our thoughts keeping us stuck, um, feeling sort of powerless, feeling like, okay, I don't know what to do here. I don't know how to get out of this situation. I don't know how to fix this. Um, but I'm seeing that there is a solution. And I'm seeing also that a new thing that is happening for you is I feel like you're getting back to basics with a lot of things. You're learning some new basic, uh, uh, I'm getting habits. Like you're sort of, I'm getting, you're almost kind of going back to the basics of something to kind of get... Um, it almost kind of makes me feel like I used to be in this program called Kumon. I struggled a lot with um, mathematics when I was little. And in Kumon, you start with one plus one, one plus two. Even though the grade I was in, we had already learned that, you start there. And then slowly you progress and you learn more. And before I knew it, I was doing fractions and my class hadn't even gotten to fractions. So that kind of thing. But it was, it kind of made it fun again. Um, it was the worksheets and you would time it. And uh, I actually had a lot of fun with Kumon. They used to give like little trading cards and you'd, uh, it was at my church, local church, and you would go and they would, um, you know, mark your work and give you feedback. There was tutors, so that's interesting too. Um, there was helpers there to help, you know, if you had any questions. So that just popped into my head. Okay, let me know if you remember that. I don't know if it's just in Canada. I don't, really don't know a lot about the Kumon, but I thought it was a cool concept because before, because I was in, I was ahead of my class within a little while because it just it starts very basic and you just do little increments, you know, moving moving up. So it so new things with you, new approach, possibly learning something new, um, a new endeavor. Some of you could be researching business okay, or business, something to do with business, but you're wanting to get all of the information first. Some of you have hit some sort of um, obstacle or problem. It's like, okay, I don't know what the next step should be. This person can help you um, make a, a plan. So success assured with good plans and hard work coming from these unsuccessful plans. All right, you've got force. So force, this to me is like, pr proceed, <laughs> push through this, right? Um, to me, this is like not giving up. You need to you know, if, if you hit this unsuccessful plan, don't be like, okay, well, that, that I, I tried, um, you know, keep, keep going with this, keep pushing through, because I feel like whatever you're asking about today or whatever this new thing is, is worth pushing. It's worth kind of being persistent with and um, really moving towards. So force, very interesting. Yeah, this to me is just, this is to me, it's just like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, solve this. Okay. I might have to restructure something. I might have to reapproach something. I might have to get some more information or ask this person, um, but I have my target. I'm, I'm sticking to this. I'm not letting this keep me stuck. You've got temptation. So this to me is like something, it's like 
I want to maybe ask a clarifier for this because something's tempting you. What is tempting you? Let's ask for clarification. I wonder if it's like a shortcut because this would be somebody that's like, no, we're doing this. We're doing this. Like, look at their sword directed. at It almost kind of goes back to the example I gave. Like, this is the right way to go about it. So I'm wondering if there's like a shortcut tempting you or like the, um, not that shortcuts are always bad, but this, in this case, it kind of feels like something or someone sort of trying to sell you this like ideal thing. It's like, oh, you can make this much money in a month. It's like, mm, something's too good to be true here, right? I want to do my research. I want to sort of ask somebody that might know. So something's tempting you. Let's just quickly ask the tarot here. Oh yeah, snake card. Yeah, there's somebody, somebody that has something they're trying to sell. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's giving me, oh, and look, <laughs> look who's there. Okay, yes, yes, they, yes. This, there's somebody trying to sell you, um, think about it, okay? If someone's selling you something that you think is too good to be true, that could be the case, okay? That doesn't mean that every opportunity or fun thing that comes along over the next little while is going to be a manipulation. It doesn't mean it's going to be um, a bad thing. Just do your research. That's all these cards are saying is do your research. Um, right now for you, it's important to follow steps. Follow steps. Um, seek out further information. Now is a good time to read, do research, take, take um, free classes if you can. Um, go research, ask people, make connections, um, be, be bold in asking questions. Don't be shy to ask for help, okay? Because you would help someone. If someone came to you and asked you for help at something you're really good at, I'm sure you would be happy to help, right? You'd feel like, yes, I want to help you with this, okay? And, you know, anyone that makes you feel bad for asking a question isn't isn't as far as along in this thing as you think they are then, okay? Because anyone that is in this position of authority on this subject or on what's happening wouldn't make you feel stupid for asking a question, okay? So don't be shy. I'm getting very, be very honest. Don't be shy to ask for help. Don't be shy to learn right now. Um, don't be shy to ask questions. There's no stupid questions, you know? Um, just don't, don't stay stuck don't like there's a way out of a, out of a situation okay there's a way through this it's just saying like don't quit at every um every obstacle every everything like something takes practice even the knot i'm thinking of like tying nautical knots and boats like there's specific there's different kinds of knots for different things i'm pretty sure you might want to clarify in the comments but i'm pretty sure there's different kinds of knots so it's almost like you're learning the basics of that or something like that. Um, and I want to say too, I feel like you are you are a um, you've got a lot of skills here. This in, this reading is talking about something that's new to you though. Okay, so um, if you're not if you're feeling like this one isn't for you, that's okay. But this reading is talking about something new you're starting, business, a new hobby, uh, a new goal that you have, something you've never done. Like maybe you're joining a, a particular group or lessons about something. Um, maybe there's like a particular goal you have or something you have in mind, like even the house example, I was imagining some of you are buying a house, you've got this target, you've got this goal, but it's something you've never tried or it's something that you tried before and it just didn't work out. So there's the chance here for some good plans and some hard work to get you there with some guidance of somebody, okay? Um, but just be cautious along the way of people that are pretending <laughs> to have, yes, please be cautious. That snake there, I just feel like there's somebody kind of being... A little bit manipulative um you know I, I feel like it could have to do with like they're charging you a lot of money be 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 frugal in this journey okay you don't have to like if someone's selling you something it's like oh a thousand dollars to join this and i'll give you all the information you need again i'm not saying just do your do your research okay um there's so many resources now to learn things for absolutely for free is that it doesn't mean it's bad to pay for a course or something like that not at all but just being that we have these cards i'm just saying be cautious do your research there could be a, a less expensive option to learn the same thing based on what you have um, available to spend for this okay so don't put yourself um, into debt trying to you know trying to get this information or trying to solve this problem you know there could be there could be a a, a an option like that. just be cautious okay because i feel like somebody could be after um you know or just kind of seeing that you need help with this and being like oh like 
you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I just want to be clarify. There's, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with paying for courses. I have paid for, for different classes and things. I took a sewing class. Like, there's different things. But just be be careful. Like, it's just, just being, be wise with your with your money here, okay? Um, okay, group two. Because some courses, you know, there's there's different things you can take that have tons of information. Just do your research. Look at reviews. Do your research. Um, ask questions. Ask for advice. Uh, you know, talk to people that are, have learned or are learning the same thing that you are. Uh, get feedback. Buy books. Buy, um, you know, or go to the library for that matter. Like, there's different things. Okay, what just flipped up here? Page of Cups. Ooh, love that. Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, teacher. Okay, so I'm wondering, um, I forget what I was even clarifying, but some cards fell out, so I'll just read them. So Page of Cups, this to me is just be open to receiving right now. I think that's important with Six of uh, Pentacles too. You could have a hard time accepting valid criticism, okay, with the cup, cup. So that could be hard. You might take it personally. I know that's easy to do. Like someone might say, because I've gotten constructive criticism in my comments. Sometimes it's just a mean comment, but sometimes people are like, hey, Liz, you know what? I noticed I couldn't see the cards today. Hey, I noticed that, um, you know, I like it when you pick up the terms and bring them closer to the camera. So, you know, that kind of criticism, like I've been very open to. So you might have a hard time accepting criticism. Understand that this is coming from a place like this person wants to see you get to your goal. It's not coming from a place of like, you know, oh my gosh, like why are you like, it's just this person, just be open to it um, because there's something to learn here. Um, I find this really interesting there. And then you've got Knight of Wands. I really think you're excited about this. I think, or the cards are saying like, get excited about new learning new things right now. Get excited about the way things are moving and, and the direction that things are taking for you. Um, you may be frustrated with progress right now. You may be feeling like, oh my gosh, like I already spent so much time on this. I already spent so much energy on this. You know, it didn't work out. Well, there's, you know, there's something to be learned here is what I'm getting. Um, okay. I still haven't gone through these two cards. Sorry. You have compass and light forces. Interesting that you had the devil card pop out. You've got temptation. You've got light forces. So this is like angelic. I feel like this could have to do with like being guided because it, it's with the compass. It's like you're being guided or the right people are being guided to you to help, but you just have to use your intuition about like, you know, just keep in mind we have these cards is all I'm saying, okay? So um, you've got some angelic protection here, um, helping to create change. Look at these butterflies. So there's there's forces here that are, are trying to help you along. Um, and in some cases, this help is sort of coming as frustration. It's like, oh my gosh, they're seeing you try to repeat a pattern over and over and over again. They're trying to steer you in a different direction towards this education or towards this new way, this new approach, right? That's what you're reading is today, a new approach, new plans, starting something again, reapproaching it from a different angle. Um, so they're, they're gently trying to guide you, even though it feels frustrating and it, it can feel like, oh my gosh, like what am I not seeing here? There's something. Okay, it's editing Liz here. I just I just thought of something, so I just came in here. I sprinted into the tarot room to quickly um, talk about this because this also could be like these unsuccessful plans could have been um this light forces intervening in what would have been um a not so great direction for you so that could also be what's going on too right um you know something happened with 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 this and then you're sort of perceiving it as unsuccessful plans why didn't this work out but there was a reason so that that's another option I just wanted to come in here <laughs> and say that then you've got compass so this is you know direction guidance I feel like you're receiving some guidance but I also feel like it's angelic as well um so pray if you pray um pray to your you know your guides or your angels your ancestors your loved ones pray ask for the guidance they're there to listen I really believe that so pray ask for the guidance um you know, tell them, look, I, I want help with guidance here. I don't know what to do here. Um, but I think like the important thing with this kind of reading is you need to be your own advocate too um, and seek this out. Okay, you need to seek it out. The, the assistance can be there, but you have to seek it out. Because um, yes, this person might be observing that you're struggling with this, but they might feel like, okay, well, maybe they want to figure it out by themselves. 
if you want assistance with something or if you need information, it's really important to ask for direction. Um, because in my life, I've just, I've just found that to be true. Like when I was really struggling with OCD, I was diagnosed with OCD in 2010. I didn't really get help until 2021, 2020, 2019, I started looking for help, but it didn't take me, it took me until 2021 to find the right help. So that's another point. If you need to try again, keep asking. That was just an example, right? But, um, whether this is with work with a house, sale of a house, a business idea that you have. You know, um, this card can be when, we've, when we're sort of stuck in, oh no, like self-doubt. We could be stuck in having multiple ideas and not really knowing where to start. That's another place where this could help. Like this, this, this could be lots of things depending on what you're going through. Um, but yeah, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I think that's a good there. Let's move to charms. So just to summarize what your new thing is, if you chose group two, new approach, new plans, new ideas, new ways of going about something, a new opportunity, an opportunity for some assistance or some education. Possibly some of you are going back to school. Possibly some of you are starting to learn something or research something or start a new venture. Um, New beginnings for sure, blessings, clarity, new clarity, understanding, knowledge, uh, education about something, um, the confidence to ask for this if you need it, and some valid criticism that could actually be quite helpful and provide some clarity uh, and some, again, some good plans and some, you know, plans that, because you had that night of wands too, like you're excited to get to work here. You're excited to get in here and let's, okay, yes, I'm, 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 all like energized now, let's get in there, let's do this, let's get this work done here. Um, if you don't know what this is, this could be encouraging you, hey, now's the time, to, let's get something new started. Like, what's something you wanna do? What is something you wanna pursue? Do you have an idea? Is there some, do you wanna learn to do watercolors? Do you want to learn to sew? Um, do you wanna learn to redo furniture and re refurbish antiques? Do you want to learn, like, like there's so many reasons to not be bored. Like, like what's something you want to do? What is something you want to do? Let's let's do it. Let's get your charms first, though. Let's get your charms first. I'm like ready for you. Like I'm just like energized. I wanna. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm excited for you. Okay, group two. Oh my god. A lot fell out, so that's what we'll take. Get the frog. Let me just lift this up with my hands. This is a different tray than I usually use, but I like it. I thought we'd do something different today. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, you've got clean sweep. So this can be like a fresh start to something, which I think makes a lot of sense with your reading. So a new approach, a fresh start. This could also be encouraging you to clean your uh, home, your space, and make it more... I guess organized. I always find the king and queen of swords quite organized. They're quite disciplined, um, but they would have a very organized space. Everything would be where they want it to be, where they need it. Okay, I need this this paint palette. I know where to go to get it. I'm not at all like that. Whenever I need something, I have no idea where it is. I spent literally, I'm not kidding, 45 minutes looking for my second pair of keys today. I found them in, didn't even make sense where they were. They were in like a box by the door where I keep reusable bags at the bottom. Like what? Like, cause I come in and I'm just like, oh, I just chuck them. So that is advice I could use too, is like get organized, like get your space. If there's something you're wanting to do, if it is sewing, get your fabrics, get your threads, get your patterns all organized, uh, get the information you need. This is like, I think you're reading, I think group two is like, even just this cute little um, squirrel here. It's like, get to work. like. You know, and I say that in a fun way, not like get to work, but get to work, like get in there. There's something you're wanting to create or do for later. Um, this is actually reminding me of the saving for later thing. I feel like some of you are wanting to save something. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, sorry, I'll get back to the charms, but that's what's just making me think of like getting your space nice and organized. Um, I've always been that way. Like even growing up, I'd be doing like a project for school and nothing would be where I needed it to be. And I remember my mom is so organized. She'd be like, hey Liz, get your supplies ready. Like get your, you gotta get your glue. You've gotta get your, you know, she, I was constantly having to be refocused on like, okay. So if, if you struggle with that too, that could be the, t the time to kind of get, get organized. You've got uh, the compass here. You had two compasses. So there's a lot about guidance. I'm getting this strongly as following your guidance. 
um, your inner guidance, trusting that kind of inner compass <laughs> um, in what you're doing right now. Um, and then also don't be afraid to ask for directions. It all goes back to that that connection we had of like the valid criticism and the the king of swords offering assistance with the six of pentacles. You've got the little wheel here. This could be like the wheel of fortune. Um, it could have to do with, so just change coming in, fluctuation. Uh, but it's also about being in control of the direction of something. You also have the chariot here as well. So I think that's interesting. You've got another message of cleansing here with the frog. Frogs represent new beginnings, cleansing. Think of like cleansing rain. Um, and also it can have to do with a leap forward. You've got a key. Keys, keys are solutions. They are yeses. They are way forwards. They are, you know, it's a way through an obstacle. So it's a really, it's like having a key to something. I've got the key to this. You've got the um, wasp, which lately I've been reading as a warning um, because I've just, this summer, if you watched my mermaid reading I did about a month ago, I did it on a dock outside. And um, there was just tons of like, I just saw a lot of like wasps and hornets and um, it made me like on alert, it made me sort of nervous. So I'm just getting like with the snake card, the temptation card, it's like someone's kind of like, cause I'm not seeing this as a bee. This isn't a bee, maybe it is a bee, but I'm not seeing it as a bee. I've got a bee charm, but I'm getting this more as like a, like, it's like I'm imagining you're seeing a wasp ne wasp's nest and you're deciding to steer clear of that. Um, you've got the ghost, which this can just have to be a connection with the past. It can connect to um, our fears uh, with the ghost here. Um, and to me, this is sort of connecting to your eight of your eight of swords here. So sort of like our fears kind of keeping us stuck. You've got Gemini here, so that could of course be you. You've got the lucky charm. So that's just lucky charm, <laughs> lucky charm. You've got, I love this because you had the eight of, uh, you had the eight of swords. You've got the eight of swords charm. It's a little cage here with the door wide open. You've got, I love this. This is making me think of teaching, science, education. It's making me, it's the little, oh, it's like, I love too. It's the helix shape, so it's like a staircase. But it's making me think of like a scientific, more um, analytical approach to something. Um, just like that, that king of swords, right? This would be like somebody teaching science. Like a, you had a lot of teaching too, because you had the hierophant. You've got just your whole reading, right? It was about possibly education. So um, yeah, it's like a, kind of like a, and even this person that I'm getting in that could help you is like very like matter of fact, this is what it is. Um, I'm actually imagining a scene on Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad came twice to my mind today. I've been watching it again. But um, when Walter is talking to one of his students, the student's like, oh, it's close enough. And Walter's like, no, like something along those lines. So it's sort of like you're, you're like, okay, you know, I'm... Um, you're looking like this person can give you the exact formula or exact solution to something. Um, it's available to you, but you might have to ask for it. You've got the boots here. This can have to do with hard work uh, and also protection. I like that for you. I feel like it's hard work because you had the one card talking about hard work. You've got another cup here. You had the page of cups. You've got the cups here. and You had the teacup card talking about valid criticism. Um, this almost looks like it could have been cracked. It's got little, you know, it almost looks like a mosaic, actually. Um, putting pieces together, perhaps. Guidance, even with the sort of tea leaf energy. Yeah, interesting. You've got the lighthouse, total connection to guidance, for sure. The bicycle, I think, makes a lot of sense with your force card, because to me, this is like pushing through. Like, you know, when you're riding a bike up a hill, it's like feels impossible and your legs are burning. And then suddenly it's like, oh, okay, this, I'm going going downhill now, like, you know, so sort of um, persisting through challenges um, is a good way to put it, I think. You've got the little alien here. You've got a few of the same charms as group one, which, yes, I could have probably shuffled more, but I feel like the charms fall out when they're supposed to. You've got the uh, alien here from The Simpsons. So this, again, this is like, to me in your reading, it's making me think of like, there's something you had to consider. There's something else out there. You know, that's what that's making me think of. Um, so yeah, very cool charms today. Let's get you some letters and numbers and then that will be good. I hope that this inspired you today to get something started, to seek out the information, to get to work with something that you want to do in the future. Um, and then also to, to do your research. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, you've got the word felt. You've got, so I'll flip these over and then uh, feel free to look in the comments. There's always awesome suggestions for words. I can't always see anything, but I don't typically take enough time to do it. So let me pause the video if you want me to not touch them. Okay, you've got felt, you've got E I R E A Y G E S T D O R E W or M, whatever you need it to be. E O O C F R N I H A O A D R R A O S E. The word as, the word felt. Okay, so pause it if you need to. if we have all the, all the letters for criticism because I thought I saw that. Do we? I don't think, I don't think we do. I think we're missing a, another C, but that's what I noticed. It's so frustrating though. Sometimes I'm like doing these readings. I'm like, oh, we're missing this letter. And then I'll be editing. I'm like, no, it was right there. Um, Okay, let's see. I mean, of course, you might see, you might actually see a word that doesn't have all of the letters. Um, have fun with it. Like sometimes the way letters fall, it might, you might almost kind of see a word. So whatever message you see, have fun with it. Um, like for instance, I'll show you what I mean here. Like that's a Y, not a V. Oh, I just got dizzy, but advice, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, have fun with it. Don't, uh, it's supposed to be fun. Okay. But yeah, let me, oh, I just got dizzy again. What? Maybe I need to go have a little rest. <laughs> got my coffee here. Okay, I'm going to get you some numbers. You've got 212, it's interesting. The month of December could be especially important or the date, uh, the 12th of whatever month you're in. And you've got two nines too, so nine as well. We are in September when I'm recording this, so like the, like September, like, oh, well actually we're past, we're past the 12th of September. So let me know what you see. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it inspired you or motivated you or just maybe made you feel good or relaxed. Um, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. You can also check out my Patreon linked below. I upload every single week and I've been doing some extra things like I have a, a, an antique haul and some new deck reviews and stuff that I just posted. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be there linked below. And yeah, thank you so much for your uh, support and watching this. Thank you so much. And we'll see Hello, you next time. Hello, group three. If you chose the cute little um, squirrel on the peanut, then this is your messages about new things that are coming in. So far, groups one and two have been very interesting. I just opened it up to the house and the ship. So there could be a connection there. We'll have to see what comes up for you today, though. I'm just going to shuffle out all of your cards. This will just take me about a minute. Uh, and then we will dive in. So excited to see what's happening for you. This could be one big thing. It could be a lot of little things. We'll have to see what comes up. We just had one flip out. Ooh, I know what card this is. All right, so I just wanna pause here and talk for, about this for a second. This card I was thinking about on my, <laughs> this is funny. I was literally thinking about this card today. I'm really like absorbing this deck. Um, and this card I've seen pop up a few times. Uh, and a couple of a couple of different things about it. Um, this to me is a card of because of the subject of our reading of the question we're asking, what new things are coming in. Um, I think the key with this card right now is there's something that you're dwelling on that has already it's already um, behind you. Okay, this kind of I think maybe collectively there's this theme is kind of happening a lot because group one was struggling with something similar, but 
Um, this is sort of like, oh, I should have picked up this apple because I could have made pie. I should have picked up this apple and eaten it. I meant to pick up this apple. I noticed this apple. Um, all of these things we say to ourselves about like, oh, I could have done this. I should have done this. If only I had done this. But oftentimes when we're doing that, we're doing it obviously to our past selves, like with information that we didn't have back then. Um, so in this case, because of the subject of our reading of like what new things are coming in, I think this popped in for a reason. I think this popped in for a reason to sort of just say um, something is, um, oh, look at that winds of change, something you're sort of really thinking about something like oh, I should have done this. But here's the other thing that's important about this apple. This apple has seeds in it. So this apple could potentially, like this missed opportunity, okay, this one thing that yes, you didn't pick up this apple, but there's so much potential within this apple, okay? The other thing about this card is the um, message to sort of like, because it was talking about how, you know, when you buy apples, and or you have fruit sitting in a bowl or something and one fruit starts to rot it could potentially cause the other fruit to rot so this could also be just cautioning you um to pay attention to in this case for this reading i feel like pay attention to like what you're surrounding yourself with as far as like what could be blocking um new beginnings okay what are you like saying um is there something you're watching or surrounding yourself with that's sort of making you feel like worse about the situation possibly right um meaning like i think i think this can sort of pop up in like can sort of pop up in like conversations of like um per that are particularly negative so i'm sort of getting like um, a lot of negativity could be potentially affecting you so just be cautious about like who you're letting um or, or not not so much that but just like be cautious of what energies you're sort of um allowing to throw off maybe your energy or, or something something like that but okay sorry i focused on that card for a long time but i just think it's interesting because i was walking to the grocery store today and um and i saw this apple tree while i was walking and i've actually been seeing lots of apple i mean it's apple season right um but i've been like my friend's backyard, I went behind her shed and there was all of these apples that had rot, you know, uh, fallen, they were all rotting. And, uh, you know, it's just, I've just been noticing a lot of apples in general. I've been buying apples. <laughs> I bought a new apple actually called Cosmic Crisp it's sitting on the counter. So I might eat that today. But yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of apples today. Um, I just bought a bunch of apples actually. I bought a bunch of apples for a fall display. So yeah, apples are important to you. <laughs> Let's keep going though, what just fell out. You've got illusion. All right, interesting. So elephant on this bubble. Oh, that's interesting, hey? Eh? I'm excited to dive into this. But yeah, there's some sort of illusion. Group three, group three. <laughs> for some reason, group three is always extra intense or there's always extra things sort of like yeah some there's extra things sort of like going on with group three so i saw the scythe there when i opened the deck so that's endings um it can talk about harvest for you i'm just getting like the strong need to um not beat yourself up about this apple that you didn't pick up or this apple this thing that didn't happen like there's so many times in life where i've i thought oh i should have done that i should have started this me and my friend were just talking about like oh if we had only started this back in you know whatever year it's like well we didn't know though you know what i mean like there's so many different things so but this apple remember it has those seeds okay group three what new beginnings are coming in for group three what new beginnings are coming in group three let's see what this one is moon a lot about like illusions and um yeah this one let's look closely here you've got the jellyfish in the sky i like i don't know if you can see but like their position it looks like they're sort of their head is back i'm getting this like really um and this is associated with eight of cups 
there's I honestly feel like I want to go deeper with this because I feel like there's something I'm missing but eight of cups like there's something you're leaving behind you're no longer like staring at this apple or whatever this was remember I'm just sort of using it as an analogy but you're not like staring at this thinking, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I bake this pie when I had the chance? I missed this apple. I should have picked this apple up. I meant to pick that apple up. I saw it. Why didn't I pick it up? You know, why didn't I start this? Why didn't I do that? Okay, group three. What is coming in for group three? We've got Sagittarius energy here. Could be you. Could be somebody in a situation. Another one just flipped over. Burdock protection. I have my little herbs book close by. Maybe I could, where did I put that? <laughs> if I want to read that, I'll find, I'll find it for you. But this is associated with protection. Well, number one, group three. Here's the thing. I feel like a lot of things could potentially be coming in for you. But I think, um, first of all, I think right now it's really important to protect your energy. I might want to get into this illusion card. We'll pull some clarifiers. Of, well, I want to get tarot. I'm already <laughs> diving so deep, but I haven't even finished shuffling. So maybe we'll get one more of these and then um, we'll, we'll pull some other cards. Group three. That was too many. The silence card was on top of it. So maybe you're sort of, um, maybe you've got like a plan to turn I almost wonder if you're sort of turning one situation around or making the best out of something. Like you're turning one situation. It's like you're taking the seeds out of this apple. I feel like you're being a little bit secretive with your ideas. I, I wonder if what's new is partially something you're already aware of, like something you're planning, um, something you are um, creating. Harvest. Oh, that's interesting with this. It's so interesting because it's like, okay, yes, we're upset about this apple, this one rotting apple, but look at all of, look at, there's like barrels of apples here. Look at that little mouse. I'm sorry, I know it's not focusing. Little mouse taking an apple here. Okay, this is interesting. So for you, group three, there's definitely um, a message here of like so much more is coming in. There's a lot of new potential, but it's really important that we don't just stay and stare at this apple. I've done this with so many things and I still catch myself doing this. I'm like, because in 2021, 2022, I had like, I had a lot of more, my focus was more so, sorry, not even focused here. My focus was um, a lot on um, my health and just different things that were going on. So I didn't really um, do a lot, like even with like my readings or things with work, like um, I kind of put a lot of that I was thinking of Seven of Swords there. I just opened up to it. Interesting. I'll get into that. But yeah, you know, I just think it's easy for us to sort of like dwell on like missed opportunities or things we didn't do. And it can sort of prevent us from harvesting or taking other opportunities or sort of seeing what else, what other potential is there. So to me, this is saying what's new for you, group three, is a lot, <laughs> a lot that you maybe don't see yet, which is again, a bit of a theme today because of the moon illusion, like you might not see it yet. Um, but there's a lot to be harvested still. Now, another thing for you, group three, that I think is important is your energy. I think you really need to protect your energy right now. Um, because even this bubble, it's like somebody could potentially like burst your bubble almost in a sense. Like I'm just noticing this bubble. Um, and you've got the burdock. Let's find that book here. Where's my book? I was just reading it. Why did I... Why don't I ever put things back? Here it is. I was telling group two, I was literally looking for my keys today for like 40 minutes. The hook is right there. It's right there when you walk in the door and yet I like, I toss it. I just toss it wherever. So, I, so it really delayed my day. 40 minutes I spent looking. It helped me get the house clean because I was cleaning while looking for it. But okay, so let's just go to Burdock for a second. I'll just read you the keywords. We won't get too deep into it, but just out of curiosity. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, protection and healing. Uh, healing, I think, actually makes a lot of sense with this. Look at this. Cast around the house to ward off negativity. This goes back to the apple. In this, this card is a lot about, like, one apple that's 
Oh my gosh, this candle just fell and it knocked my camera off. What the heck? There's so many things happening right now that I'm like really reading into the symbolism of it. Um, but this candle just fell off my cabinet and knocked the camera. Um, it's just a battery operated little candle. Okay, so I'll, I'll get back to this because this I think happened for a reason. But um, so again, this card talked about how one rotting apple can really affect the rest of the apple. So it's almost as if right now, um, it's not about like just being positive, but right now you could need um, to really kind of focus on some positive things or some things you're looking forward to. I think right now surrounding yourself with people that are like um, in sort of like a, I'm getting like a productive kind of mindset. Um, right now, focusing on different things you want to harvest, focusing on the future. I'm noticing even the arrow with the Sagittarius card. It's like focusing right now on the future. Eight of cups, right? You're leaving something behind. Um, and I think right now protecting your energy and healing from this is I think really important. Um, so there could be one uh, family member, for instance, that's like you find every time you talk to them, it's like, oh my gosh, I feel so drained. Like I was excited about this one thing. And then, you know, <laughs> you know, it's something like that. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what this could be because I think that's important um, with this card. So yeah, protection. You've got burdock for a reason. So right now, these new things... It could be too that you're sort of like, because you've got eight of cups with the moon here, you're sort your next move, your next plan, the next phase, the next goal, you're sort of keeping a little bit more private. Um, you're protective of it, I think, is the key word. Like you're protective of this of this thing um, that you're hoping to harvest in the future. So eight of cups, I think, is important. Um, here I'm also getting to really follow your intuition right now. Trust trust yourself here, trust yourself. Now this candle falling, what could this mean? This makes me think of like wands, it fell, it knocked the camera off. I wonder if it's sort of like an idea or something or guidance possibly because a candle sort of lights up. Yeah, I wonder. Let me know what you think that is. Like write in the comments what you think this candle falling means because I think that's really interesting. Let's leave this out for you just because it's pretty. Let's put it somewhere. Let me get you a, didn't expect to have to use a candle holder so. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think the candle means. To me, that's just like, you know, it's almost making me think of like Ace of Wands. But just the fact that it, that it fell, <laughs> that it keeps falling. There we go. I don't even know. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Let's keep going here. I haven't even gotten the rest of your cards. I've just, I like how this reading is going. Now I like, I like diving deep into the cards. I love the jellyfish. Jellyfish are quite, like, it's sort of a feeling, um, I feel like you're really protective of your energy right now with burdock, the the moon with the jellyfish. Group three, what new things are coming in for group three? What new things are coming in for group three? Seven of cups just fell out. So seven of cups, what new things are coming in for you? wow well but there's potential for a lot of things you've got the really here I think this I'm getting the idea of like fantasy I'm getting the idea of like if you can imagine it um choices for sure but there's also the energy of like hesitation second guessing yourself with this um sometimes the best advice with the seven of cups is did I say swords if I did I'm sorry I did see the seven of swords earlier and I'm noticing that mouse is taking an apple but We'll get to that. Seven of Cups. So sometimes the best thing to do with the Seven of Cups is to just follow your intuition and make a choice because we can sort of breeze in, in um, yeah, look at that, this way or that way. I think you might be frozen in a little bit of indecision with this Eight of Cups of like, okay, what do I do next, right? I missed this opportunity or I lost this job or this relationship didn't work out. What do I do next? So I think right now is the time for healing. I think you're being very protective of your energy right now. I think you've got a lot of new ideas and a lot of potential for a lot of really cool things. Um, but I think you're, you're, you're taking good care of it right now. You're really wanting to um, protect your energy right now. Um, but Seven of Cups, yeah, there's like a feeling of choice. Um, am I making the right choice? What decision do I make? What do I pick? What's the best option? So group three, what new things are coming in for group three. I'm getting try again. Seven of wands. 
Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, and I saw the Seven of Swords earlier. Got lots of Sevens. Lots of Sevens. <laughs> Five of Swords. I would have laughed if that was <laughs> the last Seven. Um, okay. Okay, let me... I was going to say, what am I missing? We oh, yeah, have Seven of Pentacles. There we go. Okay, weird. This is like not staying on here. There's so many things happening during your reading where I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> Sorry, I might have to pause. This has never happened. What is going on? Even with the elephant here, it's like something's knocking you off your balance here. Um, seven of Wands, I feel like you're really like, okay, first of all, definitely like there's a situation that I feel like you need to protect yourself and sort of walk away from, okay? Um, with eight of cups, seven of wands here, five of swords, like, I think right now with these new things coming in, the first thing to do is like really protect your energy. Um, I think there's a particular negative situation. You can sort of, it doesn't mean, um, it just sort of means like distancing or protecting your energy a little bit more, um, from this particular situation. Everyone's getting this devil card today. Trust your intuition right now, okay? Like, um, in regards to, like, there's something I feel like with the moon, eight of cups, like, you're you're just being encouraged to, like, I, I'm just hearing get move in a, po in a more positive direction. And again, I'm not trying to make it sound like, oh, only be positive. Like, of course, like, we have, we don't always have positive feelings and we feel negative emotions, we feel anger, we feel upset, but... It's like, how long are we going to stop, like, just stop and stare at this rotting apple because we missed out on it or it didn't work out or, like, are we going to keep talking about that one apple when you've got the harvest card here? And, the, and all of these options here. There's something I'm really getting it's important right now to sort of, like, walk away from. To, and, and right now, I think also, just in general, um... Like this could be at work, for instance, this could be, I'm getting a lot of you for some reason, it's a family. Um, but like, there's sort of, there's this situation, because with the five of swords, this is like a person or a situation where it's like, I can't, there's no real winner <laughs> in the situation. It's like those arguments where, why are we even arguing about this? There's no real winner. Um, it can be somebody sort of wanting to win at all costs, despite what's happening to other people. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like there's something you're protecting yourself from. I feel like a lot of you, this is, because look at how this little squirrel is sitting on, on this nut. It's like you're sitting on an idea or you're sitting on um, something you're quite protective of. I think it's possibly for a lot of you something creative. Look at that secret, secretive. Yeah, for a lot of you, I think it's a new creative idea or something, an emotional new beginning, right? It's, it's important to you. You're cherishing it. You want to sort of see how it grows, what it turns into. But in the meantime, you're being quite protective of it. Um, we can see this when we have like new creative ideas or, or like the first bit of an idea that we don't really want to like share too much about. Um, because it could be that someone in your life is, says something that's particularly discouraging. Or even with the little jellyfish, like stinging. Okay, group three, what new things are coming in for group three? There's a bit of a competitive undertone to this. I know it's like we hear these messages all the time but the only person we really need to compete with was is ourselves yesterday like there's no um wheel competition there's definitely a competitive undertone coming through group three what does group three need to know this deck is done we're going to do another one i got another tarot deck but that one was Telling me it was finished. Okay, you've got strawberry. Dedication, preparation, prolific. Preparation's coming through here because even like the theme of like the little items today, it's it's almost like you're preparing, you're you're getting ready um, for something. For some of you, it could be like something that didn't work out. You're sort of 
taking that, you've turned it into a new idea, or you're taking it in a new direction. Um, so preparation. Strawberries to me represent surprises, um, or a sweet, like sweet surprises, something unexpected. You also have dedication here. So even with harvest, it's like don't let one bad experience spoil the whole harvest. Dedication or your dedication will pay off. Think about how much work it is to, to, it was to harvest all of these apples and to grow the apples and care for the apples. Okay, before I get your next cards, I wanted to clarify because this mouse is stealing the apple. My intuition is this is not a big deal. Let the mouse have the apple. Maybe that sort of connects with that. Like, okay, like... Maybe there's someone that had to win at something. It's like, okay, yeah, you, all right. Like uh, my intuition is saying, let this mouse have the apple. Like just, it's okay that that, that one, because look how many other apples there are. Group three, what is going on with the seven of swords I saw earlier and this little cute mouse taking the apple? you're stressed out about or anxious about like something that you maybe feel like was unfair or it was taken it very well could have been quite unfair but like there's a feeling of like dwelling on it or this sort of fogging what else is available again that was a bit of a theme for group one today um but yeah there's sort of like a feeling of of oh no I should have made I'm using this as an analogy again but like I should have made that apple pie when I saw that apple I noticed it, this just slipped off the top. You got seven of ones twice. Um, I'm feeling like you're feeling quite defensive right now. I feel like you're also very sensitive to anyone questioning anything right now. Um, so people asking questions right now, this came up in a reading a few months ago, of like people asking questions and then it coming off as like uh, an attack or it's coming off as like, well, why are you asking me about that? Or you know, when really it could just be curiosity. So that's because I'm seeing you're very defensive about your ideas or defensive um, or feeling challenged. You're feeling like something's being challenged. Group three, what new things are coming in for group three? New ideas, possibly. This looks like that uh, page of swords to me, that little fairy with the sword. New ideas ideas lots of new ideas coming through creative ideas what new things are coming through for group three anything else new coming in for group three again okay so the answer to this reading the answer to the question you clicked on this video group three you're always like so exciting but group three what new is coming in for you lots of lots of potential for new but we have to like that apples eight of cups that apples behind you here look how many apples are here like this is your this is your answer what new things are coming in for you A an abundance of new things you know, and I and I don't even feel like the cards are bringing up one thing in particular because of that exactly. Like there's an abundance of things. There's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential here. Um, maybe we'll, we'll keep going. I've got some more cards to pull. Maybe we can sort of get one specific answer. I feel like yours might be a little bit more like, because group one and two had a very specific, this is the new thing coming in. For you, it's like lots of things. Um, again, right now it's important to protect your energy. Choices might be a, a sort of a way to narrow this down. Having options could be the new thing that's coming in, but to me it's more so like about abundance, selection, abundance of what you need um, is the new thing that's coming in. Let's get some tea leaf cards. And I'm realizing I don't think I got group two of monology card. I, I pulled group one of monology card. I don't think group two got one, but their message came through, so. Group three, what is new for group three? Or what do we need to know about group three and this new time? Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, we'll take all of these. Why not? Okay. 
will get back to basics. This is very uh, similar to something group two got. Um, you know, that could be what you're doing because you could be um, trying to simplify right now. Something could have become too complicated, but this is encouraging you to get back to basics. Um, maybe this is to do with starting something over. This could be uh, communication as well because of the quill. It's like air energy, so it could, be, it could have to do with basics uh, of some sort of conversation. Get back to basics. Simplify. Everyone's... <laughs> Even like when I was talking about losing my keys, there's a strong energy of like, okay, everyone needs to sort of like organize and get sort of things tidied up, um, not to perfection, but just, just so it's like what you need is where it is when you need it, that kind of thing. Valley, so deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Yeah, I feel like something, it's almost like with this elephant on this bubble, it's like, you know, Deep personal, I love that with personal strength in the elephant because that's what elephants mean to me. That is sure success. Like trust yourself. Like this elephant is doing fine on this bubble, but someone could easily come along and say something to this elephant. It's 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 on the bubble. It's floating on this bubble, you know. But what, what would it take for this person to come along and be like, hey, why, how could you be doing that? Or what are you doing? Or you can't do that. And it would burst this bubble. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. I'm just sort of having fun with that, but... Um, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Like, you've got this. I think right now may be a period of doubting yourself because of this rot, rot, this rotting apple and the moon card and all these fears that, you know, you could be kind of facing. Um, some of you could be starting new phases of life with the Eight of Cups. So that itself is bringing up fears. Um, but I think, too, this goes into protecting your energy right now. I think that's really crucial for you. Um, this could be what you're watching, uh, you know, the conversations you're involved in, um, how much time you're spending with particular relationships, like just be, be, pay attention to how you feel after you leave an interaction. Okay. Just pay attention to that. It could tell you some things. Broken ring. So parting of the ways of either romance or business. So yeah, something, um, for the eight of cups and then this apple here, you know, something is, it's already like this apple. You can't, you could take the seeds from it and go forward, but you, you, this apple is, you cannot, this apple is not what it was, okay? So parting of the ways of either romance or business. So something is, is behind you. Eight of cups, like there's something behind you, but it's opened you up to this harvest, to this seven of cups. Like there's more coming in, but I see that it's stressful because I, I don't think that it happened in a necessarily fun way or a pleasant way, okay? Um, but it's wanting you to prepare for what's ahead. Warning you of a problem either now or in the future. I will ask for clarification for that. Um, I, I, I think I know what this is. I think this goes into like protection, protection of your energy. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Um, so some of you possibly, um, sorry, I just have to make sure this is still recording. Um, you know, this again could have been discouraged, discouraging, but it's like, don't like, keep working towards this, okay? Um, with the harvest, right? I would just keep going back to that harvest card. Like this effort was well worth it. The effort that you're about to put in or the effort that's coming is going to be well worth it. Um, right now, it's, I feel like you're you're sort of feeling, cause you've got lots of doubles. You've got the two sevens here, two sevens here. So I feel like right now it's, you feel like, okay, how, like how am I, like, I feel like the seven of wands sometimes feels like, oh my gosh, what is this challenge now? And then now this challenge, what is going on? Like, you know, I feel like I've got all these forces working against me. Just keep pushing through, okay, um, with the boot card. Boots can also represent protection. Uh, you will be shown the way and protection from a powerful friend. Interesting. So you've got, um, in this situation, um, you know, it's not, <laughs> there's other people that are like, supporting you okay there's people that want to see you succeed and, and pursue your dreams and pursue your goals protection from a powerful friend um this could even be a friend sort of saying like look like you don't want to eat that apple you don't want to eat that now like let's move forward you know something like that um i might get clarification for these two and then we'll move to charms uh but you will be shown the way so there's some guidance coming in. I know right now it's confusing because it feels like, okay, what am I choosing? What's next? Where, 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 where am I going with the moon card? There's a lot of confusion and illusion here, but you're getting, you will be shown the way. Um, and listen to your intuition in regards to that as well. Just keep paying attention to it. I feel like it, right now I feel like is there's a lot of confusing things going on, but yeah, 
I love that. You will be shown the way. Okay, so I just want to quickly pull some clarification for that card. Because you know what? Have fun with these readings. When cards come up like that are challenging, you know, just talking about what's already happening in your life, something you're aware of, um, it just gives us sort of like guidance. Um, it helps us like listen to our own intuition too, right? That's important. So I want to ask, what is this? Because it's, it's obvious, right? The finger's pointing right at it, um, or we're getting a bit of a, a bit of a heads up about something. So what is this problem now or in the near future? What is this problem? What is this problem that the finger is pointing to? What is this problem? Okay, so you've got five of pentacles. What is this problem? What is this problem? Six of swords, five of cups. Eight of swords, interesting. Eight of cups again. Okay, so this problem, um, okay, because you've got six of swords next to the five of pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, you see the church. Okay, this church in this card would represent assistance or help. These people have been on a long journey. They've, they're exhausted. They're tired. So this Six of uh, Swords can represent assistance. It also represents uh, improvement. So what is this problem? I think because you've got Five of Cups, you've got Eight of Cups here. It's like the problem could be just simply getting stuck on that one apple or just sort of like letting that one apple spoil the whole bunch. being sort of frozen in this, in this, because you've got the two eights here. You've got a lot of repeating numbers. Say you had a lot of sevens, a lot of eights. Got two fives here as well. Um, but you've got the eight of cups. So this is about like, and this can be sometimes moving on from something that has been dissatisfying or unfulfilling in search of something that is. But the eight of swords would be sort of feeling like this could be the problem, kind of feeling like powerless in this situation. Six of Swords, improvements, healing. You've got that word again. And then the Five of Cups, uh, Group One had Five of Cups. And there's a lot about like that bridge, right? The, the whole, the, the town that's there. But this person's, it almost looks like this could be the apple there. But there's, there's more. So I think the problem could be, um, I'm hearing, get on this boat. Get on this boat. getting it's time to move on to the next thing, the next chapter. Interesting, okay. Now I wanna ask about, so yeah, to clarify, warning you of a problem, I think, I think the problem would just be like not accepting um, the need to sort of move forward from this and staying in this, staying, staring at this apple. Cause it all started with the apple, right? you've got the eight of cups twice there's a heavy theme today of being open to assistance okay let's get the other tarot deck and then oh i still have to get humanology let's do that and then i want to ask about this protection and then we have to do your charms group three what new thing is coming in for group three? Come on. I want it to pop out. <laughs> okay. This is when the cards are like speaking clearly and I just, it gives me chills and I just love it. Oh my God. Don't let your past hold you back. That's what the problem was. Like, you know, this, this rotting apple really like, you know, it, don't let it hold you back from this harvest. Don't let it hold you back. Some of you are punishing yourself. What? Why'd that come up? You're punishing yourself. Stop. Like you're being, you're really punishing yourself. Don't let your past hold you back from what it could be. I'm reading this to you. I'm reading this to you. Okay. Wow, today I just have chills today. Okay. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so the South Node, like the North Node, is a karmic point. It's the opposite to the North Node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Interesting. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something, Eight of Swords, that you had? This card can often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has some, somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released. And there's some kind of addiction going on or unhealthy attachment, unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are seems safer and easier. Wow, I have chills. Ooh, release the past. Yeah, that's sort of like when we feel like stuck in something that isn't making us happy or fulfilled, but it just feels familiar. I think that's what that's saying. Um, additional meanings for this card. A relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive. This also, this doesn't have to be a romantic attraction. You could be obsessing over a particular person um, in a negative way. What are they doing? Um, you know, their opportunities could be making you feel envious, something like that. That's really not a good energy to kind of be in. So try to, like, can you unfollow? Can you... Um, I don't know, like that's a whole reading in itself, but just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Interesting. Okay, one more clarification, and then I do want to jump to your charms. Um, but I just want to know who this powerful friend is. Who is this powerful friend? I feel like it's somebody sort of giving you guidance, um, protecting you in some way. Just advice, protective advice, possibly. Dog. Okay, what, yeah, um, I want to feel, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this has to do with, like, possibly some sharp advice or some advice in, in regards to movement, in, in regards to um, direction, possibly. Um, this might come off kind of sharp. It might come off um, a little abrupt, possibly rude, even. Um, although you'll know, I feel like it's not intended that way, or I feel like this person isn't rude. It could just be their delivery. Um, but yeah, protection from a powerful friend. This is also the knight in shining, shining armor too, right? So this could be another thing. This could be like a friend really sticking up for you behind your back. Um, you know, saying, Hey, you know what? Actually, you don't know what happened or something like that. Um, so I feel like someone could be fighting for your, um, you know, fighting for, for something for you. So with that seven of swords or seven of wands, pardon me, don't feel like you're the only one fighting on your behalf. Okay, so let's look at charms. Oh, group three, I'm almost sweaty after your groups. <laughs> group three is always intense. Okay. All right, let's take a look at what we have. I'm using a different charm tray today, just for fun. Nice little tray here. So I'll just hold it up close so you can see. All right, let's take a look here. Um, you've got Taurus and Virgo here. That could be the protective friend. Um, that could also represent you. Uh, that could represent the time in which you're watching this video. Um, it could represent the toxic energy that is you're finding difficult. So whoever that is, okay. This um, charm reminds me of almost like, it reminds me of like a getaway, hermit energy, unplugging uh, the wilderness, going out uh, into the wilderness or going out like for a hike or doing something that sort of disconnects you from the usual routine, allows you to breathe some fresh air, allows you to unplug, connect with nature, um, have some time. It almost makes me think of the hermit card it reminds me of resting. It reminds me of coziness and just warmth. It reminds me of the basics. I think, did you have a card about getting back to basics? I feel like you did. Because this could be just simplifying, right? I think of this little cabin here. It's probably, you know, just with the basics, the basics that this person needs to, to have a nice little relaxing time. They probably have some food packed. They've got a fire going. Yep, you did have get back to basics. So I feel like this is sort of what this is talking about. Simplify your life right now. Protect your energy. Avoid complicated arguments or drama with that five of swords. Don't get sucked into situations where it's like, why am I even involved in this? Why am I part of this conversation? You know, 
I'm unplugging for a bit. So get back to basics, get back to what you need. Um, something is becoming less complicated. The umbrella as well can be a symbol of protection. You've got the unicorn. Unicorns um, represent uniqueness, rare opportunities, um, embracing your uniqueness, magic, imagination, childhood. You've got two shoes here, different kinds. Oh, look, you've got three different kinds of footwear here. You've got the, um, sorry, let me just let this focus here. I apologize if it hasn't been having a lot of technical difficulties with your group too, which is interesting. The candle falling over and knocking everything. Hello, what's going on? Okay, well, I guess it's not, not gonna focus. I'll just hold it here. Um, but the, yeah, the boots, this, this is about protection. You had the boot card too though. Everyone I think got the boots today. So boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Uh, that also has to do with protection, similar to your burdock card. Um, and then the other, you have the shoe. This is like a long journey. This makes me think of five of um, five of pentacles as well. This belly slipper can be about grace, balance. Uh, it makes me think of gentleness, but also dedication, hard work. Uh, I think of ballerina's feet, how like in pain they are. And like, if you've ever seen ballerina, their toes are like bleeding and they have blisters and it's just like, to me, it's like dedication because you had the one card specifically mentioning dedication, right? With your strawberry card. Um, okay, so that's the sh that's the footwear you have. You've got the little star, inspiration, hope. Um, this one, it's a bead, so it makes me think of creativity. You've got the heart. This is um, this usually connects in a more romantic way, so there could be a clue. Your reading certainly didn't focus on romance, but. There could be a clue that it's coming. <laughs> Love, um, that's commitment and intense feelings for someone, an intense uh, desire to commit to them. It's a tattoo, so. You've got the little frog prints here. I really want this to focus, why? I think I just have to hold them farther for right now. I'll figure it out. I think we just have to accept that your group today is having technical difficulties. <laughs> but yeah, this cute little frog prints, to me this represents like unexpected, um, results, you know, uh, transformation. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's, it's actually making me think of the one card from Romance Angels. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. I don't know. Take the, take what, you know, resonates. You've got the little butterfly here. Uh, transformation, change, of course. You've got the mask here. Um, to me, actually, I think this connects to you and you're being a little bit more secretive and protective over something. You've got the quarter here. Um, this is potential for growth, pot potential for financial growth, rapid growth. Um, it can talk about like savings. It can talk about uh, maybe right now with the five of pentacles too, with the warning you of a problem. Right now might be a good time to kind of um, watch your spending, especially. I feel like that could be what it's talking about um, because you've got the scales too. So balance, Every, that'll resonate differently for everyone though, you know, so take take it how it resonates. You've got the cup here, that's like Ace of Cups, um, but also re being open to receive, right? It's a vessel, it's like, it's an open cup. Um, you've got the little car. <laughs> so um, this is actually from childhood, <laughs> this little micro machine. Um, so chariot energy, right? Being behind the wheel. Uh, lost and found, so there's something new, something you're finding. So it's not really so new. This charm could be talking about something that you're finding that you had lost. Motivation, something like that, maybe a particular idea, something. You've got the little gumball machine. This is about rewarding, um, like you put something, you put energy, money, time into something, you're getting something back. Um, you've got a general idea of what it's going to be, but you don't know exactly. And then, of course, the scales, balance, uh, justice, karma um, could involve the law in some some way or something like that, or some sort of like court, something maybe if you're dealing with something with that. But yeah, very interesting charms. Let's get you some letters and numbers. Nice charms. And if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing. Um, I always forget to ask. I had a relative watching my video, videos were like, hey, you always forget to ask for people to subscribe. I'm like, well, people know. But I think, you know, I know when I'm watching YouTube videos and someone says subscribe, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so if you enjoy my videos and you want to subscribe, you want to see more, definitely um, hit that subscribe button. 
Okay, there's one of group two's letters. We'll take it. And um, actually, I had a few subscribers recently and a friend of mine say they aren't getting my notifications. So um, hitting that bell also makes sure that you get all my notifications every time I upload a new video. Um, Cause I've noticed that comment an alarming amount um, from either friends or just like I've seen it a couple times in the comment section and then just talking to a few people. I'm just like, hmm, don't really like that, but okay, let's see your letters. So here, I'll, um, I'll read them all out to you. I went to go touch them, but I remember having a comment asking if I could just not touch them for a second. So if you want a screenshot, you can, and then I will read them out to you. So you've got T-U-S. E S I I E A A A P H L G J F A A Y E D I lost my spot R R D G C E T F another E you've got the word and you've got two twelves those were group twos but you know what they came out for a reason I'll get you a few more though you've got a one. And a two. Oh my gosh, I almost knew that was going to happen. 12, 12, 12. 12 is important to you, okay? December is important to you, possibly. Or the 12th of the month that you're watching, the 12th of the next month. 12 is important to you. You've got always, as, and and. So let me know what you see. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing much today, but look in the comments. There's always awesome suggestions. But I feel like your reading's gone on a long time, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you have an awesome day. Um, I hope that you know all of this new newness that the Seven of Cups are talking about. These new opportunities or these choices and the Harvest card and. Um, your strawberry card, all of these different things. I hope that it does happen for you. Um, you know, hang in there. Just, and even just the get back to basics. Like, I feel like simplifying for you is, re is really important. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time.